at the Staplitz Kids in 2005 and we are located in Delhi. We have a team of over 200 architects and designers and our clients are based in US, Europe, Australia and Asia. We work with world-renowned architects and designers and the projects that we carry out are spread across the globe. For example, we are working in US, Mexico, Europe, Middle East, Russia, China, Japan, Australia and of course India. We have executed over 700 projects till date and they have been across multiple sectors but our core focus has been in the hospitality, corporate and retail sectors. For example, we've recently completed one of the tallest hotel towers which is coming up on the west coast of US. This is a complex project because the building tapers as you move upwards and hence we felt that Revit is the right choice for this particular project. Sketz was one of the early adopters of the BIM technology and we've executed numerous projects using Revit. We've seen a gradual shift in the usage of BIM over the years and even within our organization, approximately 40% of our team works in Revit and this percentage is increasing year on year. Since we work on both architecture and interiors, hence we are able to use BIM to execute the project end to end. In fact, Skets is one of the very few firms across the globe to have executed large scale interior projects in Revit. And hence one of the challenges that we face is uh, the unavailability of talent in this area. And uh, in order to bridge this gap, we have developed very strong mentoring and training programs within the organization. Whenever a person joins Skets, we take them through a training program where they understand not only how to use Revit in interior projects, but also the best practices. And they go through a pilot project to understand the nuances of using Revit in interior projects. When a project is awarded to Skets, we get our BIM experts to sit down with the project team and devise a strategy for the project. The strategy is based on the outputs required from the Revit model, the uh, identification of areas that would be repeated within the model, for example, the number of different room types and whether to use links or groups for the same, and devising ways to ensure that the model size is kept in check. Once the strategy has been finalized, we discuss it with the design team so as to arrive at a consensus. For example, in one of the recent projects, the requirement for BIM was primarily clash detection. Uh, hence, in this project, we modeled all the walls, ceiling and flooring and created connectors for electrical and plumbing outlets. The model was shared with all the consultants and Navisworks was used to generate clash detection reports. Thus, even though the model hotel was a high-rise building, all the kinks with regards to the services were ironed out prior to construction. However, as the model was primarily being used for clash detection, we developed all the details in AutoCAD and linked them into the Revit model. Thus, from the client perspective, they received a single model through which they could view all the plans, elevations, details, but at the same time, the documentation effort was minimized. I would like to talk about a hotel project uh, in which my team is currently working. The hotel is in Middle East. The complexity about the project is its shape. It has a curved shape facade in front of it. So the building is slightly curving upwards. Uh, BIM helped us in so many ways while working in this project, especially to visualize the space. Since the building is in curved shape, so the rooms are slightly varying in the size according to the shape of the building going upwards. Apart from this, we have used multiple strategies and techniques of Revit in this particular project. For example, uh, we have used the copy monitor tool, in which we have used all the demising wall as a copy monitor. All the demising wall which were there in the architect's model, we have copied them in our model. We make them live, so it, it helped us in the coordination later. If I would take about the material takeoff, in interior project, you have multiple finishes at multiple areas. How Revit helped us is, we, we took the material takeoff and we got the square foot area of every finishes. This is how we got the square foot area in very easily in a schedule form. Apart from this, it helped us in quantity extraction. For example, in an interior projects, you have many kind of furnitures and we got the exact numbers of kind of families or the furnitures, which our designer sent it over to their vendors to get an accurate data. In interior projects, we required so many plan views. For example, we needed uh, floor plans, then floor covering plans, furniture plans we needed, reflected ceiling plans. What happened is we needed different VG settings for every view. What we have done is we have created view templates to apply it into the same kind of plans. So it again reduces our efforts, which we need not to do every time when we are working on a plan views. 
In the hospitality arena, we've worked on a very wide range of projects, ranging from theme parks to seven-star hotels, mansions and villas. And one of the reasons for our success has been our openness and embrace of new technology like Revit. In order to maintain quality in our projects, we have a lot of focus on our internal processes. For example, we've developed an in-house automated process framework, which we call as ePlan, which helps us in tracking the project progress, the productivity and quality in our projects. Revit as a tool has evolved a great deal over the years and we see a lot of thought going into the new features that are being introduced into the product.